Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age the Veilguard. Or it's a little late. <laughs> it's pretty late so I'm trying to be a little quieter. Um, also I had to take the face paint off because my eyes were like super dry which is probably just from staring at the screen. I might not even put the video in because I don't necessarily like my face without anything cool on it so I, mean, I like it in real life but like on the video I always feel like it looks weird especially because I don't have good lighting. Um, and I'm tired, <laughs> so I feel like my face is just like, but <laughs> like my eyes hurt. Um, uh, okay, he doesn't need to talk anymore. Let's see. Is this, this is not new, right? No, this is, where is this? <laughs> this is Neve. Okay, I thought so. I swear oh. I see wisps in my dreams now. That's probably means something. That's probably something to this. Um, also, she's made the place look uh, look nice. She's got a prosthetic leg here. Oh, does she have two prosthetic legs? And she took one off and not the other one? Or maybe the other one's just curled up underneath her? I thought she only had one prosthetic leg. Or maybe she's just got... Oh, I think I read that this was like one that they were thinking about using and she keeps it as a spare But because they had a lot of really cool designs Okay, so things are starting to look more lived in now. I wonder if whatever room I live in will have something nice, you know This really does look so much better already I'm glad I bought a couple of those caretaker things too Did I get a fast travel point there? I'd like to go back and buy some stuff. This is like an immediate, like, I need attention right now. Oh, shit! No! Okay. Dragon. Deep breaths. This is an angry looking statue. The priceless elven artifacts. Sorry. Just breaking things. She's not nearly as like I thought she was gonna be like weirdly upbeat all the time, and she's more just like not confident. You know what I mean? Like she's um she's always like, well, um, I don't know, and I'm like just spit it out, you know. Um Take a deep breath. Let's talk this through. I wish I could, but I can't. Not right now. My thoughts just keep bouncing around. Won't line up. The Alluvian was easy. Once I replaced the resonance crystals, adjusted the lyrium lens, it worked fine. I mean, I had to realign the matrices, but it just worked. Not like this thing. Hmm. This stuff's thousands of years old. Nobody could figure it out right away. Also, what is it exactly? Mm. It's the Nodis Durthalen, the Eighth Archive. The Eighth? We... I heard it was gone forever, but here it is. So what does it do? It knows things, whatever its creator knew, at oh, least... Oh, so it's solaces. So much knowledge, all the wonders of Elvenon. Or at least bits of them, which is more than we have. Once I figured I love it out, at earring. least, whoever made it was powerful, but clumsy. It's resonating off tempo. Need to match it. First, introduce a microfracture. But before that, you'll need the fate harmonics. So. Sorry, I, I ramble sometimes. I'm a rambler. Ruined a lot of relationships. <laughs> Most of the people I've been with didn't care for it. And I'm doing it again. <laughs> I've been known to ramble now and then. Sometimes I get ahead of my thoughts, and when I try to sort them out, I do that. Jumbles. I actually do that, in real right? Life. And they're slippery and fast, and you can only catch some of them. Oh, I wish I could catch the thought that would let me fix this thing. I'll get back to it soon. But you need a break, but sometimes. I think I need a break. Mm -hmm. Maybe take a nap, and I can finish later. Mm-hmm. 
Personally, I always endorse napping. <laughs> yes. Never underestimate a good nap. Okay, good. Anyways, let me know if you need me. Put that I'll on my ready. on my list of character traits is that I love They'd napping. They found someone who could fix their mirror. One of Arlathan's own veil jumpers. Just what they were looking I for. I love the tarot style. And Bellara had found something else. An artifact that held a wealth of lost knowledge. Isn't that the one we found in the but other a prize place? But like that was going to attract more attention than they'd bargained An for. An evil veil jumper? Or are those like the ancient elves that are still around? Like, where's Abelos? You know what I'm saying? Where's Abelos at? What's Abelos doing? And it would affect... It would affect how he would potentially interact with people or what he would say if freaking... I think it's, you might be able to kill Abelos? Or bypass him entirely, or, you know, if you choose to desecrate the well, um, he gets really upset and tries to kill you. So it would matter what he thinks of people, but whatever. Bellar's notes on the lighthouse, I can't believe we're in the Dreadwolf's old home base. I don't know the specific word exactly, we're calling it the lighthouse. We're not calling it, he called it that. That's why we're calling it that. There's a lot of history here. It looks like part of a temple. Did he pull it all into the fade? That would take an incredible amount of magic. There are a lot of personal touches, too. I was expecting more gold. A throne, maybe. But Harding tells me that was never the Dreadwolf style. Harding also calls him Solus. Everyone does. But I don't know if I can learn to call him that. Fenharel, maybe. I can get there. Yeah. It's good to know that, like, right, there's, like, people who, who would approach... Like, people like Solus, like, they would approach entities like him differently, right? Like, yeah, like, to hit, to her, he's a god, essentially, you know? Um, but we all knew him, well, the Inquisition knew him as Solus. And now, with him in my head, I think, he, and hearing him called Solus by Varric and Harding would, like, you know, change the way you do things. Change the way you perceive him a little. Demonology. Calavan, you really must stop using the classical categorization for demons. I've told you a thousand times, it's far too simple. Demons are beings of emotion. Emotion is complex. Pride is both self-esteem and mad hubris, darling. And those are easy variations. A single word will not suffice. Our work will delve into the depths of the soul. We will bring the light to light the very varieties of demon that our foolish contemporaries cannot even imagine. Did you see the fascinating work done by that other, by that southern cult? Fiery something or other. Fiery promise? They attempted to see demons into human flesh to make them stable beyond the veil. Imagine what we could discover if we did the same. <sighs> Fiery. I mean, I feel like I vaguely recall something like that. I'm a terrible person and I can't remember. Katarina's search, a note attached to a stack of reports, maps, and other documents. Lucanus. I found these at the diamond in Katarina's private room. I do wish I had wandered around that casino a bit more. Um, hopefully I can go back. I should have wandered around before we jumped into the first cutscenes. Um, the day back to the day your ship was lost. The day you were taken from us and chased the smallest leads from Antiva to Deventer and back again. Whatever Varric and his friends did in their pursuit of Solus caused a, rip a ripple through the venatory ranks. It made them slip and allowed Katarina to discover what was hidden in our waters this whole time. She never stopped looking for you, Lucanus. I thought you'd want to know. That's sad. Lucanus, that's such a good card. Such a good card. Um, okay. Exercise, breakfast, mid-morning, weapon maintenance, inventory, midday, meet with Neven Harding, Solus, and Blighted Gods. Oh, he's very uh, orderly. Meeting with Bellara, Lighthouse and Alluvian, separate preparations, correspondence with crows, separate preparations, see, nearing midnight study. Every hour seems accounted for, but it is difficult to know for certain there is no day or night in the ossuary. Now at this lighthouse, the sky offers little hint to the true time in the world. That's true. How would we know mid-morning, dawn, midday? You know what I mean? I think he's just trying to keep himself busy. He's been locked up for so long. Um, and you would think we would see effects of that on him, like torture and stuff, like, it is a little odd. Uh, does Spite get his own card? Yes. Dawn, mid-morning, meeting with me, possible movement from the gods, late after, a piece cut from all, from the all, golden stranded weaves, protection cage, keep them out, keep me in. Drawn below is a di dec decagonal diagram of perfectly even intersecting geometric lines. Hmm? Hmm? A decahedron? Interesting. Piece all, protection cage out in. 
all protection peace in cage I was trying to like rearrange the words a little bit I thought maybe they were slightly different colors but these two cards are not slightly different colors interesting and I have level up capabilities I would like to start working my way up this you know soon but this looks nice getting granted immovable would be very nice he also has healing a talent is ready for anything I don't know what level talent he is So, oh, because they don't seem, my companions don't really seem to take damage, and they don't seem to have dying. That's interesting. I thought maybe it would just heal all of us, but apparently they only heal me. Ooh, enemies hit by this ability have their necrotic resistance permanently reduced by 20%. I think I will actually go with that. I usually like to kind of spread things out, but since I do necrotic too, this will be very nice. Oh. So you have to choose one path or... Oh, I wonder if that's... I haven't encountered that for myself yet, but apparently you pick paths kind of of each route. Interesting. Oh, God, that is horrifying. Look at that thing. Absolutely not. What in what in the world? <laughs> You'd have to be crazy. Oh, caretaker, you have a shop now. May I see your wares? Strength earns mastery. That's so nice. Finding uh, will increase the caretaker's power and expand their selection of improvements. Interesting. I'm glad that you have a little shop now. That's adorable. It gives you something to do, you know? I thought I'd be able to activate the Solus statue with my little dagger now, but apparently not. Mm, let's see. I keep assuming that this stuff is like was already here in the fade. But maybe it was pulled in. And he was incredibly powerful. And he still is, like, you know? Are you good? Exclamation points don't seem to I don't feel like they bode well, you know? I'm heading out to practice my new magic. I could use some moral support. I really have to get better at using my new abilities. Don't want to drop a rock on someone's head. She's taking this so well, and we are all also. Oh, she has like a personal quest. Okay. Right, what? I don't know why we just got winding ways all of a sudden. Oh, find an illusion that leads to Arlefan Forest. Mm -hmm. But we have to find more alluvians for that? Deep sorrows and lost ages. Oh, I ran into those gates, I think. Okay, okay. Like the ones that were blocked by blight. Alright, well, companion quests come first. Like, you know, making sure my companions are happy. At least, I'm not sure... No, I got the quest, so it should be fine if I wait on it, maybe. And acquire this new friend. Oh boy. Um, what? Also, is there another door? This is like another door I need to unlock, huh? Probably. Rook, the Antime occupying Trevisio think they can outlast the crows who believe it is time to prove them wrong. Come see us when you can. How did this get here? I should help the crows. I just, I just chatted with them. Oh, God, I can't decide. We're going back to Minrathis. I don't know if we're acquiring anybody. I am losing. I am. I should probably just go to bed. <laughs> no, I can't go to bed. 
I must play. I must. Oh, somebody will be living in here eventually. Um, okay, so this. Also, I want to see if I can put up any decorations. I, I thought I bought something. Let's see. Oh, enter decoration mode. A Dalish Nug sculpture. I did elven... What? An elven lantern. It is an elven lantern. We need it. No reason the fully functional can't also be absolutely beautiful. If nothing else, we will say that the elves have that going for them. Amongst the many other things that they did. I think this one's cute. I feel like some things I just kind of noticed. I didn't really buy any of this. Oh! A dwarven piece. Very cool. I don't think there's any point. I can't believe they have Inquisitor stuff here. I love it, though. I mean, it's, it's like, oh, is this the only shout-out we're gonna get, really? You know what I mean? But it's some... Um, I need to stop being whiny about it. Armor Bellinaris. What is Bellinaris? I know what... I recognize that word, and it means something. It might have already told me, and I'm just totally spacing. Oh, but do we... Uh, hang on, hang on. Enter decoration mode. Uh, do we... We can't just meditate. We can't just, like, be like, hey, you can't bother Solas. Solas can try to bother us, though. The thing is, is he can't seem to reach out, you know? Like, we have to enter a state where he's able to facilitate conversation with us. So, scout carding glows now? <laughs> is that a thing everyone's doing, or just her? I didn't even... What? I don't know, man. I mean, I do know. Sorry, I just... I was like, oh, I forgot he was in here. Like, in that room. To the crossroads. I mean, I'm supposed to be helping Harding, but maybe I should acquire the companion first, and then I can help Harding. I'm kind of helping Harding just by doing this. By going in. And... Finding more alluvians. I'm fading. I'm fading fast. Contact the shadow dragon. That's right. So we're not gonna... We're not gonna acquire a new friend. Because we're gonna be doing shadow dragon stuff. And we're gonna get... What's the warden and the anderfells. We're gonna get... Are we gonna go to the free marches? They're like, oh, we're going to all these two places. Shut up. If we go to the free marches, all it is, it is blurred out. So maybe not. God, it's so weird to think that we were down in the south, like, this whole time. Like, for all three games, right? Ooh, there's what I think Kalshrok is. Um, and now it's just nothing more than sort of a faded out edge of the map. I mean, it's cool to go to no place, new places. I, I didn't want to just stay down there forever. They've hinted at this stuff for so long, you know? So, hiring the demon of Virantium was your suggestion. It was a possible lead. Finding things and tracking Venatori. That's what I'm here for. After all the jobs I did him in Rathis, the last thing I expected was a Tevinter mage to be involved in breaking me out. Well, good. I'd hate for assassins to find me predictable. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age of the Veil Guard, where I changed up my Valiseline today. This is the Falandin Valiseline that my character Rook has. That my Rook has. <laughs> Let's see, we can't see it. Let's... Yeah, so I tried to match her, and it was my first time trying it, so it's a, it's a little ski wampus, especially uh, like on parts on the top but parts on the bottom, but I think it turned out pretty well, and I decided to wear my Dreadwolf earrings again simply although apparently there are actual dread wolf earrings available in the bioware store now which just makes me want to cry with joy i'm like oh boy i will probably be getting them i just have i have zero impulse control i resisted buying a fenharel like thing from the bioware dual wield studio um collaboration i resisted buying that like 
Fenerelle, like, piece, like a, like a painting that they had. Um, but they just put out one of the Bioware store that I'm like, I, I probably need that. I probably need it. Where, how do I quit? Okay, so also, you guys, um, I guess I won't maybe put the intro in because this is technically a continuation of the, of the episode that I, like, fell asleep on last night. So I am going to switch the journal. And it, we want to do... I do want to grab my next companion. So, or I don't even know if it's the next companion, right? I need to go do this. Neve learns about a danger deal in her home neighborhood while going to meet the mysterious shadow dragons. And I haven't met the shadow dragons yet. So, yeah, I'm going to go do that one. I like to help the companions out, but hopefully that's not a timed thing. Oh, but I did leave in the, uh, hopefully I left in the dialogue uh, that just happened too between these two. Um, I forgot they were bringing it back, actually, and it just seems to, like, I can't remember how they explained it, but I think it, um, just triggers on its own. Yeah, it will trigger on its own even, like, it'll trigger outside of combat, but it won't be interrupted by combat. They will, like, resume the conversation after combat, which is actually great, because I frequently will, and I still do it, but I will frequently stop where if I hear my companion start to talk, start to talk, I will stop so I don't like trigger anything. I'm like, Ugh, you know? Uh, okay, Neve is required. Yeah, I'm gonna bring Lucanus. I just spent like an hour and a half making a Kunari that I think is really beautiful and cool. And then my second Inquisitor, Talon, who is an elf that romance Dorian. Anyway, <laughs> it's three o'clock again. I can't seem to start this game earlier than three o'clock. The heart of Devinter. Somehow the beast of it always pulls me back. I hope we can explore more. Steady pulse of secrets, corruption, you name it. Trust no one. Expect the worst. And you might just get by. How dramatic. Do the shadow dragons know we're here? Nev Gallus! You only turn up when you want news. Or you've got some. Tarquin. You look well. Appearances can be deceiving. Oh. Like a story. Just living ungifted in a world made for mages. Dramatic. Rook, meet the Viper. The Viper, one of my my youngest sister, actually. She's like, you'll love the Viper. I'm like, stop telling me things. She just can't help herself. But already, I'm a, I'm a sucker for a mask. Like, mm. The name, the entrance, <laughs> I have so many questions. I do! <laughs> Most people do. So why the meeting? <laughs> Is this about your work with Varric? <laughs> Something terrible got loose when we disrupted Solus's ritual. A pair of elven gods. Gods? They blighted a village in Arlathan. Demeter's Crossing. There were venatory whispers about that place. Now we know why. Mm. What's been happening in the mm. city? <laughs> Underground sacrifices, dangerous relics flooding the black market, the cults gathering power. Uh, also, and I can hear it now, I don't know if I would have heard it bef unless she'd mentioned it, but she said she loved him because she's, he's voiced by Matt Mercer, and I can hear it, it's like a deeper... Oh. Listen, someday, Bioware, please just let me romance Matt Mercer's voice, you know what I mean? Like, I would love that, especially this deeper version. Please. Oh, I forgot to point out too. My shirt. Look, it's a Dreadwolf shirt. You can't. I can't. You can't escape it. This is actually my last one. I technically have another one in storage, but I don't know where it is. But this is the one that the earrings are actually based off of. So I'm definitely gonna have to get the earrings. The earrings look like this. Um, but I really love. Like, I'm kind of disappointed you can't see it with the cam. But uh, the like red mouth. It's really intimidating and cool. It's just cool. I Maybe mean, not intimidating, but like you know. I like it a lot, so. Hmm. You'd think people would reconsider their choices after surviving a citywide demon attack. The cult hasn't changed. They want control of Tavinta and a return to the old ways. And if an ancient power promises just that, damn it. Yeah. We were tracking a set of red Lyrian relics before you got here. Smuggled in recently. I love his outfit. They enhance blood magic. And can summon demons far too easily. We destroyed one and tore another off a slaver. We think the third's right here in Docktown. 
Darktown's my How home. How convenient. If it's got problems and I'm here, I can track this faster than anyone in the city. Hold on. I'm happy to help. It's fine. I can catch up with you. What? I don't know where the gods are I want to help. They're doing. We're here for help. It's fair I give some in return. Yes. The relics don't play nice with the veil, and they resonate with each other. We destroyed the lyrium in the last one we found, but it should still track the third. Give it to me. I'll get it done. We'll keep eyes on the Venatori. If there's a tie to these elven gods, we'll find it. He's got a lot of keys. I love the Viper's outfit. These are all like too bulky, I think, to be realistic. But you know what? Live your live your dreams. Ready for a tour of Docktown? Stick with me. Oh, here. The relic the Viper gave us responds to the missing one. And it is. It should pick up places where the missing relic disrupted the veil. Okay. Find a trail of those and we'll get somewhere. Perfect. Sorry, do I know you? You have a name. Found all this myself. Treasure. Don't touch unless you're buying. Well, let me see. Again, why would I buy money? And why can't I sell anything? It's probably because I haven't made friends with anybody in the city. There's treasure. Can I give you? Yeah, here. I mean, like, I don't need money. I don't even know if they'll actually take it from me. I'm looking at all their stuff. I have to appreciate the work that they did. People put a lot of work into this. Are you, uh, what's in there? Oh, that's probably like a Shadow Dragon exclusive shop. There's cats up there. On top of the nug cages. And somebody just scratching their butt. <laughs> what the heck? You know the Whoa. Antiquarian? Hey, they call me Tick. Mother said I got stuck well. to her like one of them and drained her of life. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's not funny. Uh, the Antiquarian, that is from, um... Technically, Dragon Age 2, the treasure. and then goes into uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. He's the guy who so runs. So you live in Docktown, my whole life, unless I'm away on a case, or crashing in the fade. Dog. Harding said the Archon's Palace shot at you last time you were here, and now we're chasing a dangerous relic through the streets. And people wonder why I never get sleep. Nobody's sleeping apparently. Apparently, I'm going to have to tell everybody to sleep. You know. They just, they just have slave, but then there's like freeing the slaves. So there's like, yeah, I think that's like a, like a rebellion thing type. You know what I mean? I hope we didn't interrupt, um, the conversation that these guys were having. Oh? That cat is yawning. Back alley. Let me in. Are these people like, are these, their doors are closed? I'm like, this is obviously like a slum area. Or are they like being kept in there? Like, I doubt they're being kept in there. This place is too flimsy. But slavery is a thing. This just looks like a, cause one of the arguments Dorian makes in Inquisition is that slavery is better than, um, poverty, right? Cause he says like, He's like he uses the example of the alienages in um Oh nice. Um like Ferelden, where you can't escape that. You know, he's like at least in slavery you can sell yourself and like try to make life better for your family. And it's but it's like I mean if you're lucky, you know, and like get and then like you'll have like a roof over your head and like food, but you don't have like personal you don't have freedom, you know? And it's like, why not just hire people? You know what I mean? Why do you have to use slaves? Oh, because it's cheaper to just feed and house them. You know what I mean? But it's like, do you do you get to earn money as a slave? You know, like to like help your family or anything? Like, 
I don't know. He made an argument for it. And at the time, I was like, well, I mean, I guess it's better than inescapable poverty. And, like, I don't know. Maybe if I was, like, or if I, you know, if, if somebody, if, if you were in inescapable poverty, maybe it would be worth it. And I would not judge that. You know what I mean? Like, I would not judge that. To have a roof over your head and food, like, regular food, you know? But you'd want to, you'd go, you just got to get lucky that you get a decent person and not somebody who would, like, sacrifice you for blood magic. You know what I mean? Like, or would treat you poorly or uh -huh. something. The relics pulling toward the Temple of Andraste. Temple of Andraste? What is crazy? Hang on over here. There's stuff over here. I'm like, where's the magic? And there's there's floating, um, floating dillywops. Dang it. Uh, floating lamps. And there's, like, magic signs. I was kind of hoping for more, like, magical floating city. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe if we get into wealthier parts. I, uh, uh. And Came these people. Nowhere. I know. But you're all right, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll be fine, but there could be more. And, and where's it? I don't know. These people aren't going to get good care, you know what I mean? Oh, wow, yeah, I do like the armor. It's locked down, sir. Keep it under control. Yes, sir. Keep it under control. Um, I did actually check. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> Locked. We need another way in. What do you mean? Right. The, On it. The chantry is closed. We're breaking into a chantry. We broke into a prison. But no. The <gasps> courtyard's public ground, and we can't lose the trail. I love their outfits. Oh, uh, also, are you. How. Are you devout? Are you devout, Andrastian? I assume you are. Um. Or at least Andrastian in some measure. I thought this was something to pick up. It is a cat to pet though, which is fine, which is good. I think I think my controller vibrated slightly when I pet the cat, like for the purring. That's adorable. Is this what you do for the shadow dragons when you aren't with us? I look for things. People, objects, information. People have problems that Templars and Magisters can't help. Or won't. Well got out I might. It's enough to live on. If it doesn't get me killed. Um, but you look like, she wears really nice clothes, like, finery, you know? So, um, she'd have to get paid enough to look like that, I would think. Inscription at the Wall of Light. For those lost to us throughout our glorious history, whether claimed by victory, tragedy, or the ever onward march of time, a light to remember the dead. May they shine in Eternium. I don't think that is a term I've ever heard in this game. Whoa, oh, they get to have magic floating crystals. Oh, and they're rend Oh my gosh, this is actually would be really cool. Their all their imagery of Andraste is gonna be completely different. Well, potentially very different than how it is in Southern Thetis. I hadn't even considered that because I'm so used to seeing all the same renditions of Andraste, which is fine, right? Like that, it tracks, right? Like we, we don't, we haven't, the first three games do not have enough, I think they're like 10 years between them all, like all together. Um, not enough time for the art to like truly change, you know what I mean? But like, I'm so used to seeing it or at least like just like slightly changed over each game that like, this is going to be interesting now because we're they're not probably going to focus on the burning at the pyre of Andraste, right? They'll potentially focus more on and there's there's sects of Christianity that do, that do this too that prefer to not focus on like the crucifixion, or or, uh, or stuff like that, you know, and they focus more on um, like the life of Christ or whatever as opposed to like the death. Um, so I think that this is this is that this is potentially going to be that where they focus more on the life of Andraste as opposed to the death of Andraste, right? Um, and and she's far more sympathetic to magic in this one. I don't know though if they think do they I can't remember if Dorian says if they think Andraste is a mage or not. I think they might. The Razakale walk. Oh classic. He's one of the uh Razakale is one of the old gods of Tevinter. And I believe no, Erthemiel was the god of beauty, the Tevinter god of beauty. Uh, I believe Razakale, though, we think he's already been dealt with as an archdemon, right? When the when the old gods get blighted and become archdemons, which is what starts a like an actual blight from like when that's what instigates it, when it becomes a true blight. Um, 
fascinating, though. I'm gonna have to keep my eye out. Hopefully, we can get in the Chantry so I can go look at their paraphernalia. Ooh, I'm so excited. Ugh. <laughs> Oh no, oh, okay, I was like, I was afraid it was gonna be like a slave quarry. That would be hilarious to have that, like hilarious in a bad way, right? To have that right next to the Chantry. Because is it, also, there is the whole thing, right? Is that slavery is, um, my, is my light weird? My lighting might be super weird in this video. I am not, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> but, um, in, oh yeah, I totally got distracted by the lighting. Um, but in, oh my gosh, what was, um, Rest, the rest of Thetis everywhere. Slavery is illegal, right? And the whole thing is that Andraste was taken slave, like, taken into slavery by the Tevinter Imperium, right? And then, um, she escapes, right? And basically is trying to defeat the Imperium. So it's always been interesting, right, that the Imperium did convert, and it's because of that one guy who felt bad and stabbed her while she was on the pyre. Um... But, and like he proceeded, he's like, okay, we're going to convert to Androstianism, but they've al there's always been a schism. And I think it was in like the Blessed Age? age was it the Second Age, maybe? Because um, the Divine Age is the first one. Um, the Blessed Age is maybe the Second Age. Uh, and the Dragon Age is the Fifth Age. Eighth Age? God, I don't know. Uh, at this point now, for some reason. But, um, anyway, yeah, there was a schism pretty early on. Uh, so now there's two different divines, right? There's a divine up here and then there's a divine down south who in my world canon, my world state, is Liliana, a hardened Liliana. Um, so Cassandra is free to do as she wills. Um, but, and the divine up here is always a man, whereas down south he's always, it's always a woman, you know? Um, interesting, interesting interesting we are going to see some variations because yeah it's like oh we were rebelling against slavery and i think they made slavery illegal for a while and then they brought it back because like they're like no nah, that was that was a good thing we had going and it's like <gasps> so like how do you how do you reconcile the scripture right you know like like the doctrine right when it's like oh yeah her whole thing was like freeing slaves and you're like mm, no cut that part out you know what i mean Ooh, i hope we get to see some of the lore on that i hope they'll show us some of the schism stuff i want to see it very badly <laughs> oh man and probably these buildings honestly probably couldn't have made these without i mean that's obviously like free floatings okay okay so we're getting some of the like magic because i remember dorian talks about it at one point he's like imagine a city where magic is a part of everyday life and like it's just been it's like it like lives and breathes with the city right which is kind of how like arlathan was supposed to be also but even more than this right so i've always been curious to see if it's like neon lights kind of a city but with magic you know like just like like colors and magic and crazy things floating everywhere you know oh bodies a in the courtyard. oh bodies in the ch this is the Chantry! Those are, those are acolyte people! Oh my gosh, is that the guy? That's the dude who stabbed her. Why am I forgetting his name? How can I also- ooh, this is, this is bad. We're gonna break in where somebody else broke in, it looks like. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Lucanus. Oh no! Marcus, I've been delayed at the Chantry. The sisters need time to gather the records we requested. I'm sitting on the steps as I write this. Someone just ran through the courtyard and gave me a weird look. I thought they could carry this letter, but I'll find someone else. I wish the sisters would hurry. I'll be very late, but we'll still wait for me at the lamplighter. I'll be there. Sybil. Killed. Based on the marks, I'd say demons. Um, Definitely. How... So, do they, like... I mean, there's stuff piled up on all the doors from the outside. Like, it, it almost, it was like, oh, maybe it's construction. But it almost looked more like, um, how in the Blight, where they had put material on the outside of the town in order to keep things in. So, like, are the guards just, like, chilling outside and they, like, piled up a few boxes to try to keep all the demons inside the Chantry? It's like, do they know is what I'm trying to say? And they're just like, shh, don't say anything. Everybody will panic. Because also, what's keeping the demons in here? Because they can just fly. Like, demons can go wee and they can climb also. Like, there's nothing keeping them in here. And you're just letting your entire Chantry go just, just be destroyed. Let's see, and I think most of them are dudes, which is so... But they said the Chantry sisters. I guess they would be the, the lower... In, in this one, in this Chantry, they're like the lower level acolytes. 
um, because only men can have the positions of power, whereas in southern state, only the women can have positions of power, and the men are basically just like acolytes. To Vinter's shame, why is there an Elysian fountain there? Like many of you, I defended slavery. I'm trying so hard not to itch my face, but like it, it's gonna be, it's a trial. Um, it was just how things were done and part of the natural order. Some, those with magic, those who ruled, will always be given care of others. To mistreat the enslaved was a mocking of the sacred duty, grounds for the harshest of punishments. Cruel slave owners were the problem, not the institution of slavery. Dor, it's Dorian! Oh my gosh! Well, it's a Dorian, it's a note from Dorian. Oh my god! Ugh. It was quite simply wrong. There was no defending the practice of owning another person. I am ashamed I ever did and will eternally be grateful to those who helped me re-examine my beliefs. I hear you ask, when we tear down the structures that inform our culture, what is left? I challenge you, those of you who profess leadership, who would set yourself above others, to see past what, have been taught, what has been taught, and to forge a path of your own. And if you need foundational principles, then I charge you to choose from these. Respect, compassion, understanding, love. Magister Dorian Pavis from a speech given to the Magisterium. <coughs> Canonically, no matter what, Dorian is here in Tevinter, because even if you romance him or not, like he does go back to become a Magister after his father dies. So like, we could maybe see him? <sighs> And so he just says it, right? Like, he's like, oh, it was bad slave owners, you know, that were the problem. And he changes his mind. But, like, that's one of those, the initial conversations you have with him is him being like, no, slavery is good, actually. And you're like, what? But, like, again, I'm like, you put up, you put up, you pose the question of inescapable poverty. And I'm like, well, um, I mean, I don't know. I think a lot of people would rather die first rather than be put into slavery. But it's like, but if you give people that out, you know what I mean? It's like... It's almost cruel. It, like, funnels the poor into that. You know what I mean? It's just a... It's a broken system. So... Hang on. There were codex entries on the other side, so I'm looking on this side also. What is the man's name with the sword that he stabbed her with? I'll, I'll write it down on the screen. I will write it down because I will... Like, when I am editing. And then you have, like... Is that, like, Victoria's... I can't get up there, but I'm like, is that, like, Victoria's Andras thing? The architecture is great. Very great. Very good. Very nice. Anyway, let's deal with this. Oh, hi. Ow. I saw the red on the ground at the last second. Is the relics work? I, I want to stop fighting demons. Because demons are resistant to necrosis. Thank you! Oh, is there more demons? It's your boy. Demons. <laughs> Are you Victoria? I think you're Victorious Andraste. I think, because that statue, this statue is one that shows up in Southern Thetis. Um, the one of the kinder look, I gotta look, where, what is his name? Uh, it's Archon Hesarian. Hesarian. No, wait. Yes. Yeah, Archon Hesarian. Who was, who was, I, I was thinking of his, of her husband. Her husband wouldn't be featured in here. Andra, his name starts with an M. Andraste, husband. Mafrath. Mafrath. To me, that always sounds like a Tevinter name. Mm, ah. Oh, of range. I was trying to. I was trying to throw nice. it back. You know. The relic we're chasing. It's unstable. Where it moves, chaos follows. This isn't the only market left on the veil. I can feel it. Find that, and we may get more. Okay, but like, let me let me see. Let me see if there's any iconography I can look at. Okay, loot, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Where are the iconography at? Blood spattered. No, another complaint. Rumors of someone shifty seeing carrying some sort of relic. People are worried it's unstable and it might draw demons. Could be nothing, but we've got too many people on edge. I'm sending you to the temple. Just check it out so we can say we did. I'll meet you after. Couldn't escape the demons. Dead. If there's family or a friend, I can track them down later. Make sure they know. Is this oh. what we're after? Let me take a look. What? Is it? No. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Hang on. I might be able to go over here later, but I just... I didn't get to... Okay. I didn't get to explore that casino area because I was like, Oh, I'm sure I'll come back. And I probably will go back anyway, but like... It seems like we're going to be revisiting these areas like fairly frequently, you know? Where's the, like, where's the, where's the iconography? Where's all your holy relics and stuff? 
Where's like your your statuary and your and your your scriptures on the wall? Where is it? Hmm. I would probably call this one here. Um, simply because I think if I combine these two together, it'll make like an hour long episode. So <laughs> hopefully that works out. But thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm going to cut away now to my Patreon thank yous. Actually, as promised before in the last video, we're going to do codex entries really quick before I say thank you to Patreon. So queue up two codex entries. The Deep Roads. There isn't a dwarf alive who remembers this as Jenny again. No! Okay. <laughs> There isn't a dwarf alive who remembers the deep roads as they once were. They were the network of tunnels that joined the tigs, the, like, uh, towns, essentially, the big, like, the cities, um, together. To be honest, it isn't even the right to give them such a simple term as tunnels. They are works of art with centuries of planning demonstrated in the geometry of their walls, with the statues of the paragons that watch over travelers, with the flow of lava that keeps the deep roads lit and warm, the cloud gazers up on the surface talk of the imperial highway built by the magisters of old, a raised walkway that crossed thousands of miles, something that could have only been built by magic. Perhaps it is comparable to the deep roads, although we dwarves didn't need magic. They also, the roads go, like, everywhere like the, the imperial highway just goes bloop, you know um like across a massive area like it is super impressive and like the high rise you know it's like it's like it's like a high raised like highway um but yeah the dwarves were like ah man <laughs> and they like had thousands of miles of tunnels under under the earth you know they could go they could literally cross the continent without seeing the sky you know I suppose it doesn't matter anymore. The Darkspawn ruled the Deep Roads now, when Orzammar sealed off the entrances to the Deep Roads, abandoning everything that lay out there. We handed over the kingdom that was to those black bastards forever. To think that there are Genlocks that sound... <laughs> maybe <laughs> out of context. To think that there are Genlocks crawling over... Bone Ammer... Okay, I was like, what? But yeah, that's, a, that's an old tag. Bow. Bow Ammer now, tearing down our statues and defiling our greatest works. Corruption covers everything we built out there. Every dwarf who goes out and comes back says that it gets worse with each passing year, the foulness spreading a little further. And the cloud gazers think the darkspawn are gone just because they aren't spilling out under the surface? Huh. One day when Orzammar is gone for good, they'll find out differently. Those darkspawn won't have anywhere else to go but up, and they'll do it. The surface folk will have themselves a blight that will never end. Yeah, it's interesting to be... Again, I kind of think we don't get enough dwarf lore. Like, I'm truly honest, like, when you go to the hissing waste in inquisition one of the later areas um and lots of people probably don't even go to it you know although if you do go there you can kill a bunch of venatori who drop sea silk which is like one of the most beautiful crafting materials in that game and it's like a white like silk with like this like shimmery silvery satiny like you can barely see it like very kind of florally pattern like florally i don't know not floral like flower but like sort of organic look looking pattern in this like shimmery silver almost that you can't really see unless the light's quite right so gorgeous i always put dorian in that it looks so good on his robe um it's also like i think i like tier three crafting material anyway you kill venatori for it <laughs> and you kill darkspawn for the red oh my gosh what is the fabric called i use it all the time the red fabric that is, like, one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Anyway, I miss I miss the crafting. <laughs> I'm not, like, it's not ruining the game or anything. My nose is so itchy. I think these are going to go up separately in the front of different videos. But, like, I just keep itching my nose. And I'm like, why? I feel like something's wrong. <laughs> um, but, yeah, anyway. Hunting Darkspawn and Minotaur was my favorite for crafting materials. At least for, like, appearances. Because at one point when you could dye your armor, that was really nice. Because then you could make it with different materials and then dye it to look good. Um, but yeah, no, I got distracted about the dying. That's the only place really, besides the Descent DLC, that you get, like, some, some dwarf lore. And, like, I was so used to going through, like, elven ruins, right? And then, like, all of a sudden it's like, oh, there's, like, dwarven ruins that are, like, coming up out of the sand a little bit. And then, like, some of them are still subterranean. And it was like, oh, oh, there's actually some, like, sick lore out here. Like, what about the dwarves, you know? Um... So yeah, but it's one of those things where like when you are in Origins and like you're down there, you realize like there is stuff that you pick up in conversations and stuff like that, that like the blights don't end. Like humans, elves, 
kind of canary on the surface, any surface dweller, they're always like, wee, you know, and the blight, like, goes back underground or whatever. But, like, there's a, a whole civilization that lives underground, and they are constantly at war with the Darkspawn. Like, it never, it truly never ends for them. Like, the Darkspawn maybe aren't as powerful when it's not a blight. I think, actually, one of the lore entries said that during a blight, Orzammar actually gets a little bit of a break because all the Darkspawn just go right to the surface instead of harassing Orzammar. So, like, that's their break, is when a blight is active is when the dwarves of Orzammar get to, like, rest a little bit, you know? They have a whole legion called the Legion of the Dead whose whole job is just going out and fighting Darkspawn all the time. Like, a never-ending battle. You're technically, like, you're declared officially dead before you join them, and then, like, you just fight. It's basically like, like the Grey Wardens. You just fight until you die, you know? So, Interesting. The Fade! Woo! It's so fun to see these old entries. The study of the Fade is as old as humankind. For so long as men have dreamed, we have walked its twisting paths, sometimes catching a glimpse of the city at its heart. Always as close as our own thoughts, but impossibly separated from our world. The Deventer Imperium once spent vast fortunes of gold, lyrium, and human slaves in an effort to map the terrain of the Fade, an ultimately futile endeavor. They probably used uh, elven slaves, honestly. Mmm... An ultimately futile endeavor to map the fade. <laughs> the cat is sitting right under the lamp I have that's trying to, like, bounce light off the mirror onto my face so my face isn't half in shadow. Too much, anyway. It's very cute. It looks like a reptile. Um... Although portions of it belong to powerful spirits, all of the fate is in constant flux. The Imperium succeeded in finding the disparate and ever-shifting realms of a dozen demon lords, as well as cataloging a few hundred types of spirits before they were forced to abandon the project. The relationship of dreamers to the fate is complex. Even when entering the fate through the use of lyrium, mortals are not able to control or affect it. The spirits who dwell there, however, can, and as the Chantry teaches us, the great flaw of the spirits is that they have neither imagination nor ambition. They create what they see through their sleeping visitors, building elaborate copies of our cities, people, and events, which like the reflections in a mirror, ultimately lack context or life of their own. Even the most powerful demons merely plagiarize the worst thoughts and fears of mortals and build the realms with no other ambition than to taste life. Um, from First Enchanter Josephus. Um, in Tranquility and the Rule of Fate in Human Culture. Um, was it? We might get the entry here at some point. Um, but the spirits were technically the first children of the Maker, according to Chantry lore. Um, and then all they did was sing praises of the Maker, blah, 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 and the Maker grew tired of it because they didn't ever, they didn't build anything. They just, like, repeated back, you know, hymns and songs and praises, and they didn't make anything for themselves. They had no soul or whatever, so he abandons his first children to make the new ones, which is labeled, they're labeled humans, um, in, in Chantry lore. Um, and he loves these children much more because they are, like, a mix of him and like the spirit realm or something like that like they have they have both spirit and form and like because their lives are short they live quickly and and try to create and leave an impression you know and so through their works they worshiped him type thing um etc anyway all right really quick i want to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons including my acorn tier patrons thank you so much fane for your support i very much appreciate it and i want to give an extra special shout out to my sapling tier patrons reese galito thank you so much and sebastian james thank you so much i appreciate your guys' support uh, and i want to give an extra super special shout out to my forest tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.